Hi second graders, we're back from the Oregon coast and I'm sitting on my patio and I wanted to tell you that I thought we were really lucky because we got to see that sea star in the little tide pool when we were at the beach. I have a sea star to show you because I want to share some more information with you about these cool animals. Here's my sea star. It's a real one but it's not alive. It was alive at one time, but it's dead now. I bought this sea star at a craft store. I would never take a living sea star from a tide pool and bring it home. They always die. We need to leave the tide pool animals in their tide pool homes. If you want to have a real sea star, you can buy one at a craft store or a uh, Dollar Tree, or any kind of store like that. As I told you when we were at the coast, a sea star has five arms and no head. Its mouth is right here in the middle. I have my finger in its mouth right now. There are tiny suction cup feet all lined up in a row on the bottom side of each arm. Sea stars live in a special kind of a habitat. Their habitat is a tide pool. Let's think about the word habitat for a minute. Do you know what habitat means? Scientists know a habitat has to have four things for the animals that live there or those animals won't be able to survive. And the four important parts of a habitat are food, water, space, and shelter. In just a second, I'm going to um, show you how to make a model of a sea star's habitat. And it will have food, water, space, and shelter. And this model of a habitat is one that I'm going to make with stuff from around the house. And you can do the same thing. To make your model of a sea star's habitat, the tide pool, here's what you will need. You'll need a white paper plate, You'll need some crayons, scissors, a pencil, some glue, some white paper, and also some rocks. Or if you don't have rocks, you can draw the rocks on your habitat. I uh, have an example of one of those blue mussel creatures. It's, it's like a clam. It's in the clam family and it keeps its shells closed tightly around its soft body for protection. When this one was living, the soft squishy body was right in the middle and that's what the sea star pushes its stomach down inside to eat. I have these examples so when I make my pretend muscles with the white paper, I can look at this to see what color to make it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange my rocks on the paper plate. The paper plate's going to be the tie to it. I'm going to arrange my rocks on my paper plate because all tie pools have rocks and all tie pools have water and they also have sand. So I'm going to color the water and I'll color the sand. Ooh, that's a good sand color. So I think I'm going to have my water come up this far in the tide pool and then I'm going to have it come over this way. So all of this part will be sand and all of this part will be water. I'll do that coloring and then I'll show you when we're done.
Okay, I'm done with my coloring. I used the blue for the ocean water and I used a kind of a sand color, it's a tan or kind of a beige color to color all the sand. So that's the edge of the ocean, that's my little tide pool. Now I'm going to put my rocks on it. If you want to glue your rocks on your paper plate, you can. I like to just set them on because I move them around. I like to move them around to different spots. So there's my little tide pool and I'm pretending like the tide is going out. The next thing I'm going to do is make some of the blue mussels. Remember, they like, that's what they like to eat. That's the food part of the habitat. And I'm going to make my blue mussels with a plain piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half the long way. Some people say the hot dog way. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to draw on the folded side. And I'm going to draw a shape that's kind of a long oval shape to make the shells like this. It's kind of like when you cut out heart shapes at Valentine's Day. You draw it right on the fold and then when you cut it out you have both sides. Let me cut one out and then I'll do my cutting and coloring and we'll come back and you can see what the finished product looks like. So there's my blue mussel clam shell. Okay, I've got some coloring to do. See you in a minute. Okay, I finished coloring one blue mussel. You can see I tried to color it so it looks like a real blue mussel shell. I have the dark blue part. I have the lighter blue part in the middle, and then I have a whitish part down at the end. Now, on the inside, you can see it's kind of a rainbow color and a little bit of whitish and shiny. I just colored mine light blue in the middle. And we need to have some clam meat in the middle of my blue mussel clam shells because that's what the sea stars need to eat. And I use modeling clay to make the pretend clam meat. I have two colors. I have red and I have yellow. That's all I had around the house, so that's what I have to use. The real clam meat inside a blue mussel is kind of a gray color. For my model, it's going to be red. And the way I put the clam body or the clam meat inside is I just pull off a little bit of this squishy modeling clay. You could even use Play-Doh. And I just roll it together into a shape like that. And then I put it in the middle of my clam shell and I push down. Now you can see the meat inside the clam shell. And then I just stick my clam shell right there on the rock. Now let's see, we learned that a habitat has to have four things. Food, okay, I got the food. Water, I got the water. Space, I got the space. That's room for my sea star to move around. And shelter, sea stars find a place for shelter, a place to hide between the rocks or under the big rocks. So I've got, let's see, Food, water, space, shelter. I have all four parts of the habitat. Now all I need to do is make the sea star itself. Now I'm ready to make the sea star. I have my habitat finished. I just need the creature that lives in the habitat and I'll make my sea star with modeling clay. Remember, five arms. The way I make the arms is like this. I pull off a little bit. 
then I roll it between my hands. There's one. and all five eyes at one thing and look at that thing with five eyes at the same time. Can you see the little eye spot? I made one on the end of each arm. Now I'm going to use the pencil again and make a mouth spot right in the middle. It pushes its stomach outside of its mouth to eat the food. I'm also going to draw a line on the bottom of each arm. Remember the teeny tiny suction cup feet? They grow on the bottom of each arm in a straight line. It's hard to do that with a pencil. Okay, there's my sea star. Now I could put my sea star in the water part of its habitat. I could put my sea star on the sandy part of its habitat. I could put my sea star on the rocks. I could even put my sea star with its, some of its arms around the blue muscle clam so it looks like it's trying to pop the shells open and get the meat inside. Now, it's your turn. 